What's up, guys? Just getting everything shared so we can get everything going here. Get everything going here. All right. We should be good. I'll give it to about 33. That'll be five minutes. Not posting the group that we are live. Connections all look good. You look good. Panini official. We get all the good stuff. Breaker night. It's in the forums. Look it up, guys. If you, if you got that knife, you're doing big things. You got all big cards. We get all the good stuff. I wouldn't make that up. It'd be horrible. What's everybody up to tonight? I see a few people have entered the room. A few people are watching on each each channel. We'll record the break as well, as always, just in case something happens. Mr. Horning in the house. Neighbor. Probably had my garbage can in his, his lawn last time I was live. And I didn't realize how close you actually lived to me up here. Like, I saw the address, I'm like, oh, I drive by his house every day, pretty much, to drop off packages. So I should just drop him off at his house. I, well, we are in Castle. <laughs> we are in Castle. We've had chickens. <laughs> Pet chickens. Because they were definitely not afraid of us. <laughs> You get yourself a lot quicker, probably a day or two sooner. Probably takes two days from, uh, or I'll just hand it to you when I'm at the post office. I run into you out there enough. Haven't seen you this week, but. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you need your camera phone. That is a moment that... That's what Facebook is made for, is a moment like that. <laughs> All right. Get on the right page here. All right, guys. Hey, this is A.N. Collect coming at you with a one-box premium stock NBA hoops break. Uh, this is part of the Herbert Helmer, Hel 
Justin Herbert helmet autograph promotion. Um, I don't have the helmet up here. I'd show it off. Uh, it's a mini helmet. I might give you a choice. Uh, a few people ask if they can grab one of the Shack autos instead. Uh, they're all around the same value. Uh, and the Ric Flair boot. Somebody had an interest in the Ric Flair boot. So I might do that. As long as everything's in stock. The Shack helmet, the Shack pops, I've got a few of. The Ric Flair, I only got one of. So I might have to exclude that unless it's still in stock. So, but here we go. Uh, we are going to random the teams. Here. Those are the teams right there, or the spots. 1 through 15, and then 16 through 30. Here we go. Uh, three or under, we will reroll. Six times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Jazz on top. Magic on bottom for the first one. And Pacers on top and Bulls on bottom for the second one. See how it all came out. Let me get it on there. All right, we got Elite with the Jazz, Pacers, Raptors, Trailblazers, Foley with the Mavs and the Pelicans. Good luck. Uh, Long with the Knicks and the Warriors. Leonard with the Nuggets, the Wizards, the Hawks, and the Rockets. Sebastian with the Wolves and the Suns. That's Chris. Daly with the Kings and Grizzlies. Good luck, Daly. Pillow with the Spurs and the Thunder. Pillow with the Bucks in the Heat. Uh, Sebastian Mike, I believe it is. Mike Sebastian with the Clippers and the Celtics. Graham with the Hornets, the Lakers, Cavaliers, and Nets. That's a good draw. Daily with 76ers and Pistons. Not bad. Leet with the Magic and the Bulls. So that is how that turned out. Um, I can tell you Leet is working, so he probably will not be trading. Graham, I haven't seen come on yet. I've been watching who's been entering the room. So And Leonard is definitely not on. So, if you guys want to try to trade for a couple minutes, if I don't see any action, I will just start ripping. But, other than that, we are almost set to go. And with these, it's really hard to trade. Unless you're going for a PC team. And I've done probably a thousand of these in my breaking career. Randoms and maybe ten times out of a thousand we get a successful trade. So we'll start this at 9.40, which is two minutes. And Batman is in the back watching over the break. Did, Ed, did you find out where that donkey came from? I'm, I'm more interested in that. I mean... <laughs> I want to know where it came from here. I'm going to lower the mic a little bit. There we go. That's a lot better. I think that's a lot better. Yeah, I'm not in the red anymore. I mean, that's right. I mean, we got some animals up here. I I've never heard of a donkey, though. Up on the corner. I know we got horses. We got cows. We got... People with pigs up the road. We got chickens right across the road. First donkey I've seen, though. Back when I lived in Chadwick's, we had the uh, the wildlife preserve right behind my house. The Cussworths owned it. And we had a horse outside of our window one morning for breakfast. <laughs> that was an interesting morning. Yep, those are right across from my house. 
they haven't had him out yet this year. I think they got him fenced in. I think a bunch of them got nabbed last year by Fox, and uh, so they finally fenced him in. So, all right, no trades. We are going, guys. We are going. Like people think we live in New York, and it's all like big buildings and. At least they came and got him. That was, we knew who it was. I mean, in Chadwick's, there was no doubt where that horse went. I mean, li literally, the fence that had him fenced in was maybe three feet high. What's up, Mitch? Mitch and Chris are in the house. All right, guys. Pack number one. And everybody would be added to the Herbert helmet. There is no winning the break or anything like that. Everybody that bought a spot gets a spot in. So uh, we'll do the bonus packs last. Do a whole stack of them. Get a bunch of lasers all at once. Got a court side coming up. All right, first up, Blake Griffin, Kyrie Irving, Delabadova, Ferguson, Collins, Hart, DeAndre Hunter, Kyle Guy for the Kings rookie, Anthony Simons for the 76 or 76 Trailblazers, Landry Shamit Silver, Blue Dylan Books Brooks for the Grizzlies, and the courtside Stephen Curry. <laughs> yeah. Most of the animals, like, if they're domesticated, you don't have much to worry about. The chickens, you, you know. The the cows, they just don't move in the road. Kind of stand in the middle of the road if they're on the side streets. You don't get much of that innate. Gallinari, Sexton, Abadeo, Herman Nangas, Randall, Gasol. There we go. Tyler Hero, first big rookie for the Heat. Tyler Hero. I either had him last night in uh, DraftKings or tonight. I don't remember. Oh, we got another nice rookie. Jalen McDaniels. A John Morant. There we go. Now we're heating up. Morant going to daily. A little off top to bottom, Mark. I know you're the... You're a grading guy. A little light on the bottom. And then we got a silver. R.J. Barrett for the Knicks. Going to Long. Josh Long. Again, a little light on the bottom. Silver, RJ. Andrew Wiggins. It might not be, maybe unless the whole pack is gone. And Darren Fox, NBA City. I might be wrong. Because both those cards were, in my opinion, a little light. But I'm going to put these over here and these over here. As long as they're all shown on camera. Now that the stack isn't that high. Here we go. Marcus Smart, James Harden, Dwayne Bacon, Ricky Rubio, Tobias Harris, Carmelo, Marcus Morris, Grant Williams, Jalen Luke, uh, Andre Roberson for the Thunder, and Derek Jones Jr. Michael Porter Jr., Gordon Haywood, Chris Paul, Schroeder, Derek Favors, J.J. Reddick, T 
Ty Jerome for the Suns, Jordan McLaughlin for the Wolves, Romeo Langford for the Celtics, Eric Gordon, Silver, and Jordan Dieng. And actually a Lillard Silver, NBA City. Very nice. For Portland. All right, pack number five. I got a bunch of this stuff, guys. I got a good deal from the distributor. I'm not doing it much over cost. Pretty much shipping plus maybe a dollar per spot. So I'm not making a ton of money on it because I like to open this stuff. It's fun. Spencer Denwittle, PJ Tucker, Laurie Markinen, uh, Troy Brown Jr., TJ Warren, Derek White, there we go, Kevin Porter Jr. Not so bad. I don't know if there's supposed to be that space at the top or not, but every card has been off center, top to bottom. It's kind of crazy. Duncan Robinson, rookie. We got Carl Malone. Marcus Morris, Kevin Lonely, Disco, not numbered, Disco Prism, and that is Lou Williams. coming up. Really? Porzingot, Kelly Olenek, Canard, Knox, Abaka, Gordon, Moritz Wagner, Bull Bull, who's going to probably get some playing time now. With a recent injury. Quinn Cook, Mikael Bridges, Donovan Mitchell Green. Very nice. What the Nuggets? D Mitch. We got a Rui. We got next. His stuff was starting to come up a little. I don't know if he was getting more plenty time or what. But it's a little spike in him. Oh, Facebook. No YouTube messages. Guys, I got some videos coming out soon. Some personal rip stuff. And some mail days, some comic book stuff. My first graded comics. Never liked them, but these are nice display pieces. Gary Harris, Larry Nance, Keebler, Siakam, Fournier, Whiteside, Eric Pichel, Malik Monk, Chris Paul, Courtney Lee, Jason Tatum, blue, nice. Number to 99 for the Celtics. Got the Celtics. Sebastian, Mitch Sebastian. Not Mike, Mitch. Very nice. And he just popped because of uh, the news story on him on on uh, him having COVID and what he's going through. So he's popped a little bit.
Apparently he's got to take an inhaler before each game now. World class athlete and it hurt him so much that he's not still not back to 100 percent after the last year. So there you go, Kevin Loney, Biombo, Shea Gregarious, El Silva, healed. Nenakina, Dwayne Dedman, Ignis Brazdinkis, uh, Cantavarius Caldwell Pope, Barkley, and Taco. It's Taco time. Blue Taco time for the Celtics. Celtics having a nice little break. Blue tacos and the Cal Bridges for the Hornets or Miles Bridges, sorry. Okay. All right. Next pack. Wish this had more autograph stuff in it. Even the hobby doesn't have much. It's like two autos per case. Nice stuff. Very nice stuff. Avery Bradley, Malik Beasley, Jalen Brown, Deontay Murray, Diallo, uh, Joe Ingles, Carson Edwards, J.R. Smith, Larry Bird, John Wall Silver, and Cabagnoli for the Clippers. The Circle Prism. I think it's Disco. Cool looking card. The camera doesn't do it justice. Very prismatic and all that. And DeMar DeRozan. Yeah. Three more big packs and then all the bonus packs. Which I've opened a lot of the stuff through breaks. We're doing a number card out of those uh, bonus packs. I'll just say that. Dwayne House, Jay Crowder, Tory Craig, Drew Holiday, Lonnie Walker, Paul George, Paul Millsap, Keldon Johnson, Allen Iverson, Chris Dunn. I was hoping for somebody else. I was hoping for that guy. Kobe White. Kobe. Kobe. Zero gravity cat. Let's go. Let's go. We haven't hit a Zion. We haven't hit a. Oh, we hit a job. We haven't hit a Zion. We haven't hit a LeBron. Dragic, Drummond, Allen, Green, Markeith Morris, Thomas Bryant. Matisse Dibouli, Kyle Anderson, Bruno Fernando, Grant Williams, and Ennis Cantor. The Victor Blue on the back. Tell you what, this last shipment of... Uh, Ultra Pro Top Loaders. They're all sticky. Like, not sticky, sticky, but the things stick together. Like, there's a little piece of plastic between them. Can't grab one. They're showing it. All right. 
last thick pack, and then we go into the bonus packs. Giannis and Cantacupo coming up. Uh, Levine, Harrell, Luca, Brooke Lopez, Cantor, DeAndre Jordan, Smolovich, Culver, Dr. J, Cat Silver, Terrence Ross, and Luca, or Giannis, not Luca, Giannis. And we won't try to say his last name again because I butchered it the first time. See what I'm talking about? Had to split the two to get one. Cat Silver. Uh, guys, the baseball break is half full. Um. That could probably break tomorrow if we get it full. And maybe a selected football product through my football prism with a mixer. Hmm? See what I did there, guys? You might wanna you might wanna fill that baseball. A select prism mixer, maybe? Is that what he's saying? I don't know. Aaron Holiday, Deontay Murray, and Naz Reed. Wow, that back. Not even a superstar. Robin Lopez, Diallo, and PJ Washington Jr. I still think he's going to be good. I do. Kyle Kuzma, Joe Ingles, and Terrence Mann. Alright, we need some stars here. Some stars. Draymond Green, Nurkic, and Lucas Samich. I think he's going to be good too, down the road. A lot of guys, when I talk to people, I like to remind them, it took Giannis four years to do anything in the league. Don't believe me? Go look at his numbers. Miles Bridges, Okafer, and Mario Shavak. Trying to hide the last card. Miles Turner, Kawhi Leonard, and Cameron Johnson. Yes, can. Not one Zion. Yet. Karis Levert. Jeff Teague and Cam Reddish. There we go for the Hawks. Somebody just bought two in the uh, baseball. Cam Reddish. All right, we got six more, I think. Austin Rivers and DeMar DeRozan. Come on. Daniel Gafford. Come on now. Wendell Carter Jr. Russell Westbrook. There we go. And Mike Scott. Ryan got two for baseball. Thank you, Ryan.
Jamal Murray, Jimmy Buckets, and R.J. Barrett. Come on, Zion, our jar. LeBron. You usually get one of those three. It's not a guarantee by any means, but... Uh, yes, I have, and I, I'm just, I'm ignoring it. <laughs> I'm in at two cents average cost, I think, because I've been buying it right along. Kent Bazemore, Malcolm Brogdon, and Rui Hachimura. Last time I saw it was over 26. If I hit a buck, I'd be pretty happy, but I'd probably stick it out for a little while. Because I think it's, I really do think it's going to be at point zero. That's what, about when I started buying. So, George Hill, Thomas Bryant, wow, only two stars. Tyler Hero, got some rookies, but only two stars out of the laser packs. I'll do a quick recap of the good stuff. People are... <laughs> I just got another message about Doug. I I've been in it for a long time, and it pretty much... Basically, when I buy stock every week, I put a certain amount in every week on uh, Robinhood. Whatever's left, I was putting in a Doug coin, just because it was kind of a joke at first. And then when the stuff happened at the beginning of, or the end of winter, it wasn't a joke anymore. So I started putting a little more in there, putting a little more set amount. And uh, so people think I know more than they do about it. I, I'm, the experts say a buck, so I'm staying in for a buck, at least. Kawhi Leonard, Russell Westbrook, Tyler Hero, Rui R.J. Barrett, Cam Reddish, Cameron Johnson, Luka Samich, P.J. Washington, Luka Doncic, uh, Carl Anthony Towns, Giannis, Matisse, Victor Oladipo, Calvin Johnson, Kobe, uh, Cavagnoli, uh, Miles Bridges, Taco, Cameron Johnson, Jason Tatum, I think that's going to be the hit of the break right there. Uh, Rui Hachimura, Donovan Mitchell Green, Bull Bull, Kevin Porter Jr., Damian Lillard, RJ Barrett, Ja Morant, and Tyler Hero. And again, I don't know if these are off-centered or if that's just it's every card. It's that small margin at the bottom. So I haven't gotten any of these back from grading, so I don't know if that's a thing or not. So... But let me stop recording here, and we'll check. Yeah, exactly, Ryan. It was it was just like you never know type deal. I mean, the only reason I'm in at two cents is because I've been buying all the way up, like every week all the way up, and I bought more, and because I sold the first time it went up. I sold it at nine cents and rebought in at sold like half of it at nine cents and rebought in like triple or whatever at four cents. So that's the only reason my uh, my um, average is so high. But yeah, it's been fun. Definitely been a fun ride. The first ride was really fun, and I did take some profits on the nine cent thing. So, but I still have more. I know it doesn't make sense. I took my profits, and then I still have more than I did at the beginning. So it's like I could be up more. Well, I th I thought it was going to be a slow progressive thing, and then. Apparently, all these uh, stocks that are going off 
and NTF and stuff are involved with involved with it, so it's making it go crazy. I'm not going to yet. I, I'm watching the chart, like I'm watching the candles. I know somebody that sold a one Bitcoin and bought all in the dog, and he's made. I told him not to sell tonight. I said, watch, watch for the candles. Um, when people start selling heavy, that's when you get out. And right now, there's nobody selling heavy. It's let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Because I'm not gonna be able to see the instant chat. But I'm not an expert, but I know a little bit about these things. See the big green streaks? That's people buying. These red ones, they had a little sell-off earlier. And now, look at the candles again. And that's how it looked. Like, if you go for a month, every time it's jumped, do the big picture. Just look for the greens. When you see the greens pumping up like that, when the reds start lining up, that's when you look at maybe selling and you have your point where it gets to a low and you sell. It, it this this is easy to figure out. It's very very easy to figure that out. And there's the the map right there. So my buying power is a dollar fifty. I can go buy seven Dogecoin right now. But I am up 400, 400 plus percent after hours. So that's all you look for. Those those little indicators. Like I said, I am not a financial advisor, but what little I know will help me in the long run. Especially when you're up. And Doug is, is trending on Twitter right now. So I don't think tonight it's going to have a sell-off at all. And if it does, it'll be very minor. So. And I also got into a couple other things too today. I might, if you want to know, Ryan, just PM me. Nothing crazy. But if you guys aren't in it, Tops is going public. Their symbol right now is M-U-D-S. Yeah, same here. It was something that I could put in weekly. And as a joke, I could say, hey, I own 20,000 Bitcoin or uh, dog coins. <laughs> and I own like a point zero 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 nine one share of Bitcoin. <laughs> so. But uh, Tops is going public. They are MUDS right now. They will turn to TOPP in August, I think. July or August. There, a lot of people are saying it's thirty forty dollars stock. It is thirteen dollars right now. I bought in at nine ninety. I suggest getting in. I don't think you can get hurt too much if you buy a hundred dollars worth, whatever you can afford. I'm in for, I'm in for seventy five shares right now, and I might increase, but um, it's something that you hold until it switches over. People get excited because Tops is live, and then you sell it, and then you buy back in at cheaper when it settles. That's what you do with that. Might it just keep going up, and I make a mistake? 100%, because that's happened before. Moderna is one that I sold way too early. Way, way too early. I think I got out of around 65 on that. It's probably 100 and something right now. But you win some. Well, I won that either way. But <laughs> you make the right decision sometimes, and sometimes you don't. And if I had just ignored my stuff like I planned on doing, I had 1,000 shares of GameStop when 
the pandemics first happened at three fifty a share. You do the math. On I wouldn't be breaking anymore. <laughs> I'd be somewhere south where the wind doesn't hit my face. That's that's what happens sometimes. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night. Yeah, well, it, Ryan, I'm going to be honest. It's a bad company. Like, that's why I got out of it. The, the financials are bad. Everything's bad about it. Like, everything, their customer approval rating, everything's bad. So I was like, I got to go. Like, I can't, I can't deal with that. And then some guys decided they wanted to run that up. And yeah. It would have been nice. Oh, well. Win some, lose some. Sometimes you lose a lot. <laughs> Just the way it goes. Got to have the guts to stay in. All right, guys. I'm going to call it a night. Thank you all again. I really appreciate it. Uh, this stuff should go out tomorrow or Saturday. It's a quick ship. So I'll probably go out uh, tomorrow night. I got to do a couple things tonight. I got supplies finally in. They showed up this afternoon. I was supposed to have them Tuesday afternoon. Uh, if you're waiting on a break for me, I just didn't have these cases. If you don't care if it gets sent in a team bag, let me know. But I just got these back in. I just got a whole bunch of them back in. I've been out of them for like a week or two. And I ordered everything out of uh, the distributor's warehouse. So I'll have them for a little bit. But yeah. I was waiting on cases. I think Ryan's got a shipment and Todd Bro has a shipment. That's it. Everybody else had really big, um, the really big ones. These ones finally came in. Took forever. It's all base for the most part. If you had hits, I, I shipped them. I think Bro has one card sleeved up there. Then I have Sean's stuff. Sean has a box of stuff that got delivered to him. So. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Peace out.